Hello, welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I want to talk about Cisco Router Basics, Router RIP version 2, and subnets. Uh, we're going to take and subnet uh, using RIP version 2 and show you how that works. I've got a packet tracer network set up here. I've got two PCs, PC0 on the left side, uh, PC1 on the right, and above them I have three routers. These are 1841 routers, and we've got both Ethernet ports on them and serial ports. We're going to use uh, RIP uh, version 2 and we're going to subnet our 10.0.0.0 .0 uh, class A private address into 10.1.0.0. Uh, .0 .0. We're going to take this second octet of 8 bits and add them to our network portion of our address. So the uh, default subnet mask for this uh, would be 255.255.0.0 and that would apply to all four networks. You could slash the end here, put 16, showing that there's 16 network bits, and uh, along with that we have 16 host bits. So uh, looking at the first router here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my uh, configuration terminal, type in router rip, and then I'm going to type in as it goes to router config uh, version 2. And then I can go ahead and set these networks 10.1.1 10.1.0.0 and 10.2.0.0. Those are the two uh, networks, uh, 10.1 here and 10.2, that are attached to that router. So those are the router or, or the networks that we need to include. Uh, so the router can take this information and pass it along to the other two routers. Uh, we have our interfaces. We're going to set. We're going to set the first uh, fast Ethernet. Uh, to 10.1.0.1 .1. that'll be the gateway for the PC and then on the uh, serial interface we're going to set it to 10.2.0.1 .0 and again we're going to use that 255.255.0.0 for both of those subnet masks. Uh, if we look at the uh, routing table for router 1 and if we have the other two routers set we'll see that we have uh, two directly connected networks our 1 and 2 and then we have two R's down here for the RIP uh, networks that we found, uh, 10.3 and 10.4. Those would be the two that are uh, not directly connected to the router. Go back to my network here. You can see 10.3 is behind uh, the second router, and then 10.4 is behind the third router. So these two routers, uh, these two networks, uh, will be forwarded uh, to router 1 uh, using router RIP 2, or router RIP version 2. Go back here, you can see again we've got the R's designated for both of those, so those have been transmitted to it using that RIP protocol. Going to our second router, we're going to go ahead and set uh, router RIP, and again version 2. This time we're going to set uh, the two networks being 10.2 and 10.3. And again, if we go back to our network, whoops, you can see that uh, uh, these are the two networks, 10.2 and 10.3, that are attached to that second router. So it's important to make sure you uh, include those networks that are attached so that when router RIP passes that information, it passes the correct information onto the other two routers. Uh, here, if we look at our uh, IP route, this is our routing table. And now we have on that first network, 10.1, and also on the last network, 10.4, that have been added uh, to the router 2 routing table. Uh, going to router 3, we're going to go ahead and set uh, network 10.3.0.0 uh, .0 and 10.4.0.0. .0 These are the two networks that are directly connected to that third router. You can see it here. We've got 10.3 and 10.4 directly connected. So again, those networks need to be set in that uh, router RIP so that it forwards that information to the other two routers. Let's see if I get back here. And, the, and if we go to the routing table, you can see that network 1, 10.1, and 10.2 on that first router are the two uh, networks that are forwarded to that last router uh, through router RIP. So now if we go ahead and ping from our first PC, PC0, to PC4, PC4's IP address is 10.4, it's on that fourth network, dot .0.2, we get our returns. So the network is working. Uh, if you, uh, again, look at our network here, uh, 
this wouldn't have worked uh, with version one of RIP since we've subnetted each one of our networks. Each one of our networks is no longer a uh, uh, class A uh, default with uh, only eight bits for the network. We've, ad we've added eight more bits from that second octet to our network address. So now we have 16 for the network and 16 for the host. Uh, this is subnetted and it works uh, with router rip version 2. Hope you uh, got something out of this. Um, I'm going to look forward to making some more. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.